Hey guys, Jordan from Adreno here, and today we are going to be doing a knife review on our spearfishing and our scuba diving knives. Uh, so first we're gonna get stuck into our spearfishing knives. Uh, and the first one that we have here is our Spiro Sidekick Dive Knife. Uh, this knife does come with its leg straps, um, and the sheath is also uh, compatible to fit through a weight belt as well. So you can have it set up in a number of different ways. Um, one thing that I like about this knife is the actual sheath itself. Um, to get the knife out, you do have to press these two uh, gray squeeze lock buttons. Otherwise that knife is not coming out of its sheath. Um, so the reason why I like that is because it just adds to a bit of uh, extra safety when you're out in the water. Um, you do have to actually think about what you're doing. You can't just pull the knife out in happy days. Um, so pressing in those two squeeze lock um, buttons and then just pulling the knife straight out. Um, as I said, added to that safety precaution, um, which is really nice. The other good thing as well is that locking method. If you're doing a shore dive or you're getting in off a boat, um, the blade itself isn't gonna fall out of that sheath. So those two buttons have to be pressed in for that to happen. Uh, on the blade itself, we've got one side here, which is our nice sharp uh, cutting side. And then here we've got our serrated edge as well. Um, it's light, it's small, and it is really suitable for Spiros, um, for doing your braining, cutting your gills, all of that sort of stuff. Um, the Spiro Sidekick, it's a very nice handy knife and it's one that I do personally use myself. Um, yeah, just really good quality. So uh, Next, we'll move on to our Spiro Predator knife, which is a little bit smaller um, in terms of the actual blade size and the handle as well. Um, this knife, and with all Spiro knives, it's not so much for stabby stabby, get away from me. It is just purely for that factor of braining a fish after you've shot it um, and cutting the gills. This knife, again, comes with its uh, sheath, okay? A little bit different to the sidekick, it doesn't have those two buttons or that squeeze lock method. It does just slide straight in and then it just locks into place. Um, this knife does not come with leg straps. It does, however, have uh, a wide enough groove for your weight belt. So this knife will always wanna sit on your weight belt. Um, to get the knife out, it's just as simple as pulling it out like that. Because it's so small um, and the handle's a little bit small as well, it can be a little bit cumbersome to, to pull out of the sheath. So when you are in the water, just make sure you are taking your time to get that out. Uh, the Salvimar Predator, again, serrated edge up the top here, and then our nice refined uh, blade on the left hand side here as well. Um, it's a really nice quality blade. Um, the benefit is that it's small, it's lightweight, it's not gonna take up too much room on your person. Um, and to get it into a fish's um, skull, you know, you're not gonna have to fight with like a big handle or anything like that. So uh, the Salvimar Predator, really good quality knife, small and lightweight. Next, we have our Adreno uh, flip knife. So that'll come out and look like that. Um, this knife has a few uh, added features that the Sidekick and the Salvimar do not have. And the first one being our line cutter through the middle here, okay? Um, so for whatever reason, if there's any fishing line um, or, or rope or something like that in the water, you do have that um, extra little groove in there to help cut. Um, the flip method doesn't require a sheath, that's how it'll sit. Uh, so you could use this as a Spiro. Predominantly, you'd probably want like a pocket um, or some sort of lanyard to uh, weave through this little hole in the um, handle there, just to keep it attached to yourself so that you are able to reach for it, take it out um, and use it for its purpose. Um, that being said, scuba divers, you can use this knife as well. I would just stick it in your pocket and go from there. Um, the Adreno knife, it is, it's actually very lightweight. There's not a whole heap of weight in the handle or in the blade. 
um, and then we've got two serrated edges, one on this side and then one on the back here as well, and then a nice uh, refined blade up the top there. So that's our first Adreno knife, which is pretty cool being that flip style method. Uh, to close it as well is this part of the blade here. We just press that in and then the knife should just fold in together like that. Uh, next, we have our Adreno FG knife. Uh, this is predominantly the knife that I will use when I'm spearfishing. Um, and the reason being is because I actually prefer a bit of a longer handle. Um, it's easy to hold um, in you know, different ways, depending on how you're braining your fish or cutting those gills. And then the nice long blade as well. Um, this one does come with a bit of a line cutter through the bottom here um, and a nice long refined um, sharp edge as well as our serrated edge here as well. Uh, it does come with our nice sheath. Uh, it comes with leg straps as well as the ability to put it on your weight belt. Um, the locking mechanism, again, it's just a push in and lock in. Uh, so that's not going anywhere unless you were to physically pull it out. Um, you do have this nice hole up the front here. So if you wanted to add a little bit of extra safety um, in case it was to fall out, you could pull through a lanyard of some sort and have that attached as well. For me personally, I don't do that, um, but there are some uh, extra benefits if you just wanted to add to a bit of security when you're diving. Um, the Adreno FG knife is one of our nicest knives. Uh, pulling it out is as simple as that. Um, and the fact that it fits on your weight belt as well just makes it so much easier to store um, and to have on you in a nice, easy place that you're gonna remember. Uh, so that's the Adreno FG knife, really good quality. Next is moving more into our scuba diving range. Um, that being said though, you could use any of these knives that we've already spoken about to an extent. Just depends on how you're gonna store it or attach it to your gear. Uh, which leads me to our next knife, which is another Adreno product. And that's what it looks like here. So it's a bit more of a multi-purpose tool, more so than for braining a fish. Um, the top or the point of the blade is um, shaved down, so it's not pointed, which is good for a multi-purpose tool if you were to you know, be digging a rock or something out of the way and needed a bit of leverage. Um, but it also has that nice serrated edge for your line cutting as well. And then the beautiful part about this is you have that nice handle, so you can have a nice firm grip on there. Um, to close that blade black, uh, back in is you have that button and you press that down. So nice and easy and it's quite compact as well. And then the next step from there is we have a carabiner um, style method, which is just this part here. So if you wanted to, you could clip that straight onto your shoulder carabiner um, and just be able to locate your knife straight away, which is really cool um, and really important if you're a diver, um, or a DMT or a dive master or an instructor. Um, or anyone that just, yeah, wants to have a knife on them just for a bit of security or if they like exploring a little bit more. Um, so that's that one there, which is really cool. Next, we have our Pro Blue Ranger, which is that one there. So again, it's a little bit smaller. Um, the blade, again, it's shaved down and it's blunt. So it's more of a multi-purpose tool, more so than a stabby stabby um, comes with our line cutter serrated edge and our more refined blade down the bottom this was my first dive knife um, that I purchased uh, and the reason being is because it's quite universal so it comes with three different attachments on its sheath so right now the one that's fitted on is the belt buckle style so you can slide your knife onto your weight belt if you prefer or somewhere on your BCD. And the knife just clips into place like that. So you can slide it onto anything, really. The other attachment is our low pressure hose attachment, which is the method that I went with. Your knife is secured onto your regulators and you're never gonna forget it because it's right here. Um, and the beautiful thing about that is easy access. So it'll sit right here and then to get it in and out, nice and easy, just like that. 
Um, and then the third attachment is the lanyard style. So there's a few attachments that you can feed this one through, tie a knot or attach it to a carabiner. Um, it's personal preference, it's up to you entirely. For me, the low pressure hose attachment was the, the easiest one just so I wasn't losing my knife um, or having the knife fall off um, during a dive. The sheath itself, um, you have these two little buttons which you have to squeeze in together to be able to pull that knife out. So essentially all you have to do is just push and pull. It is a little bit um, cumbersome at first, so you do have to kind of get the, the grip right, I guess. Um, otherwise, sometimes it can be a little bit uh, of a bit of a wiggle to get it out. Um, the blade itself is a stainless steel 304, which means it's not gonna rust, um, but I would recommend after every dive giving it a bit of a scrub um, in some fresh soapy water. Um, so that's our Pro Blue Ranger knife. Really, really good quality, and I'd highly recommend grabbing that one. From there, we have our Aqualung Squeeze Lock knife. Aqualung have a few different models of their knife. Um, this is just their multi-tool knife. Um, so as you can see, it's a little bit different. It doesn't have a point, but it is that squared off edge. And we do have our line cutter as well, and our serrated edge down the bottom. Um, we have our Velcro strap, which holds the knife together, which again, you could put just the knife without the sheath through a D-ring and just have it sitting there like that. That being said though, some knives, and Aqualung in this case, the sheath itself has a mounting capability. So on your BCD, you can attach your sheath straight onto those mounting blocks and your dive knife is secured and attached to your BCD, which means you're never gonna forget it because you're always gonna have your BCD on you, which is really, really important. Um, I myself have a Aqualung BCD and upgrading from the Pro Blue Ranger into a dedicated knife for my um, brand, definitely recommend it. Um, that being said though, the price point for the Pro Blue Ranger and being universal, you don't have to buy specific knives for you know, specific brands, is a really good option as well. Ultimately, any of these knives are gonna be perfect for whatever type of diving you're doing, whether you're spearfishing or whether you're scuba diving. Just really kind of depends on the kind of tool that you wanna have in the water. So as I said, if you're spearfishing and it's purely for braining a fish, the Spearo Sidekick, a really, really good option. It's safe that squeeze lock method, the knife isn't gonna fall out um, and it's gonna be nice and secured. Salvimar Predator, small, lightweight, um, and it can attach to your weight belt as well. Um, the Adreno Flip Knife, up to you entirely if you wanna go for something like this. It is a little bit different, um, but it is a, a great quality knife. Uh, the Adreno FG, for myself as a Spiro, this is definitely the one that I went with myself. It's a nice handle, nice rubber handle, and a really secure, really good quality blade. Um, if you like having your knives on your legs, every single one of these knives, except for the Salvimar Predator and the Adreno Flip Knife have the ability to uh, attach to your leg. Um, in terms of scuba diving, what I would highly recommend is anything that can be attached to your BCD, or to your regulator set. So the Aqualung or the uh, Pro Blue uh, Ranger or the Adreno Clip Knife. After every use in the water, salt water or chlorine, just make sure you give your knife a nice uh, good wash. Um, some of them, depending on what they're made out of, can have some surface rust on them. So over time, you just wanna take care of your gear by washing it and giving them a good scrub in some fresh water. So there you have it guys, that is our knife review, whether you're a Spiro or a scuba diver. If you have any more questions, by all means, come on into our stores, have a chat to our staff, um, or shop online as well. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys there. Cheers.